Okay, so today we're going to start lesson 8.3, and the goal of this lesson is to find the area of squares and rectangles. Now, this is something that you have already done in probably elementary school, so it, is, it should be a review. Um, so, we're just reviewing today those area formulas for that square and rectangle. Remember the area is the amount of surface covered by a figure. Um, so it's the amount of space that it takes up. So the area is usually this shaded part in the inside of a figure. Okay, that space that it takes up. So the area of a square is side squared. If all the sides of a square are the same, that means we can say that um, the amount of space that it takes up is going to be S times S, or side squared, okay, whatever that side is. And then the area of the rectangle is always the base times the height, or the length times the width, okay? So if we look at example one, um, it says find the area of a square and the area of a rectangle. The area of the square, we know that a square has all right angles and all congruent sides. So if one is 6 inches, the rest are also 6 inches. So we can just use that formula. Area equals side squared here. The side is 6 inches, so 6 squared, which is 36. And we always state our area in terms of square inches. Do not forget your units, especially if it's given to you. If not, you'll just put units. So 36 square inches. Inches. Now we write it as inches squared, but we say it as square inches. Part B, find the area of the rectangle. So use the formula of the area and for the rectangle. You'll substitute 22 for the base or for the length, and 3 for the height or the width. So length times width, so base times height, 22 times 3, which gives me 66. So the area other rectangle is 66 square centimeters, and if we just use our abbreviation, it would look like this. Do not forget your units. So, uh, for exercises, for example, one, take a couple minutes to go through one through three and calculate the area, the shaded portion in the inside of each of these shapes. Alright, so for number one, um, the area again is either base times height or length times width. Either one will work. So um, the base is 8 feet, the height is 10 feet, and 8 times 10 will give me 80. And when we multiply feet times feet, that gives me square feet. And that is the area. For number two, this is a square, so all the sides are four inches. And so area is side squared, or you can use, you can also use base times height with a square. But um, the formula for area is side squared for a square. So four squared, which is 16, and our unit would be square inches. Square inches comes from the fact that if I had a 4x4 four four square like this, if I could get it spaced out perfectly here, see if I can do that, then two, three, four, then two, three, four, okay that's not great. But you can see that there should be 16 blocks within that square, and that's where the 16 square inches come from. These should be square blocks within that square. All right, number three, um, a rectangle. That would be base times height. The base is 15 centimeters. The height is 6 centimeters. So we get 15 times 
it, which will give me 90 square centimeters. Alright, um, now what if I give you an area, I give you area is 132 square feet for a rectangle, and we only get the height of that rectangle, we want to find the base of this rectangle. We're going to have to work backwards using the formula. So the area is base times height. We're going to substitute in what we know. We know the area is 132. We know the height is 11, but we do not know the base. And so we need to solve for that base, get that B by itself. We're going to divide by 11 on each side. And so when we divide by 11, we get 12 feet. So you'll have to work backwards. And when I ask you just for a length or a width or a base or a height, it's not going to be square foot. So make sure you do not put square feet. You just put 12 feet here. All right. So on four through six, take a moment and work through the three problems. Alright, number four, we're trying to find the base of this rectangle. We're given the area is 12 square inches, base times height. Substitute 12 in for area. The base we do not know, the height is 4. So to get B by itself, we divide by 4 since B is multiplying by 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3, so the base is 3 inches. Don't forget your units. Number five, the area is 81. The base is nine, the height we do not know. So we'll divide by nine. 81 divided by nine is nine feet in this case. So this is actually a square because the sides are the same. And number six, uh, we have the area is 140 square centimeters. The base is 20. And the height, we do not know, we'll divide by 20, 140, divide it by 20, well that will give me 7. And we're talking about centimeters here, so include your units. Alright, the next one, this is when we're combining um, more than one shape to get a, an area. This is more realistic. Most of the time when we're going to calculate the area in real life, we will have multiple shapes that make up an object that takes up space. We're talking about drawing your house plan, then we have to think about the amount of square footage, or in this case, square inches, an object may take up in the house. So the way we do that, we can label each one of the shapes A and B. So we want to get area of A plus the area of B. And a is a square, so we'll do the side times the side, 4 times 4. And B is a rectangle. And so we need to find the side of, we need to find how long this is and how high this is um, to get that area of this rectangle. If we know that this is 10 across and this is 4 across, that would leave me 6 inches here. And if we know that the total height of A is 4, and the total part here is 1, 4 minus 1 would get me 3 inches. So we're going to use those numbers to give me my area of figure B. So that's 4 times 4 is 16, 6 times 3 is 18, and we can combine those for a combined square footage or square inches of 34 square inches. So take a moment to work through 7 and 8. And we'll resume after you're finished. Okay, so I like to label um, my different shapes that I've got here. Um, you might number it one and two or letter A and B so you can um, calculate the area of A first and then B. So I want to get this rectangle first. 
get the area of this rectangle. Uh, I have the height of the rectangle, but I do not know what its length is. Or the, I have the height, but I don't know the base. So we can find this base by saying, well, the entire length here is 15. And this is 7 inches, so 15 minus 7, well, that would give me 8 inches left for the base of this rectangle. So then I could say base times height, which will give me 8 times 9, or 72 square inches for figure 8. Figure B is um, going to be a base of 7. And we need to figure out what this height is here. We know that this is 3, and the entire thing here is 9. So 9 minus 3 will give me 6 inches. Okay, we have 7 times 6, or we have 42 square inches. And now we want to combine these two figures to get the total area. And so 72 plus 42 should give me 114 square inches for my total amount of area. Alright, the next one, figure A. I want to get A. Um, we have the total length here is 11. So I want to get this, just this part to get figure A. I already know the height is 5. So I need to get this part. I know that this is 3, and this is 2. So 3 plus 2 is 5. And then I need to figure out, well, what's left for this part? Well, 5 plus 6 centimeters will give me my total length of 11. So for figure A, we would do 6 times 5, and that would give me 30 square centimeters. Now on to figure B. For figure B, we have the smaller rectangle looking figure. And so we know that the base is 3. So this is 3 here as well. And I need to find this height right here. And I know that this is 1, this little part here. And I know that this entire thing is 5 for figure A. So 5 minus 1 will give me 4. So I would do 3 times 4, which is 12 square centimeters in this case. Now on to C. So for figure C, we already have the base of 2. And so we know that that's 2. We need to find this height. And so let's see what we do. We need to find this height. We know that this part is 1. We know the entire height here is 5, and so 5, let's see, we've got, what we've got, 3 here, and we found this to be 4, so 4 plus 1 is 5. So we now have 5 times 2, which will give me 10 square centimeters. And we need to combine all three of these to get my total square centimeters. So combine that, and we get 52 square centimeters. And it looks like I've done something wrong on this last part. Let's redo what was the name? B and C looks like what's incorrect here. So rewind a little bit on this one. Um, part B, I had said, let's see, 
we knew that this was three centimeters across this length here, the space of this middle one, and the height would actually be, we, we know this is five, and we know that this is two, five minus two would give me another three centimeters. So this is actually a square. So three times three gives me nine square centimeters. Part C now is going to change. Okay, so I looked at this incorrectly. Okay, we all make mistakes. Um, so part C, we've got this length, C and 2, and I need to now figure out, well, what's this height? I know this is 3, and this is 1, so it's going to be 4 centimeters. 4 times 2 will give me 8 square centimeters. And now we need to combine these three new figures. Ms. Carico makes mistakes too. 30 plus 9 plus 8. And that should give me 47 square centimeters. And that looks a little bit better.